So guys over of here last two videos were pretty long and in this one i wanted to do something quick and so we're going to be doing the bridging transactions in uh, testnet on lightlink this is an upcoming l2 purposefully built for metaverse nft and gaming applications and also as majority of l2s they promise high throughput and cheap and fast transactions as always all links going to be in description but follow at your own risk Based on Crypto Ring, they raised around 6.5 million in funding rounds. And if we take a look at the tokenomics, we see that 9% of the tokens are reserved for future use on the protocol, which may include activities such as ecosystem incentives. So it's possible that early testnet users can be eligible for any incentives or maybe some special preferences when it comes to the IDO sale. So currently you can't do anything on the testnet pretty much apart from the bridge and they launched the bridge and now we can use it and provide the feedback. Also, it's worth noting that project currently only has Twitter, I think, I was unable to find the discord but going back to the bridge in order to use it we'll need some girly eth as always either get it from the faucets or buy it at testnet bridge i also have the faucet on pegasus light link let's try to get some eth from that one just to see how it works there you go it's sand and now we can go to the bridge and connect the wallet. And here you can actually add the Lightlink Pegasus testnet by just switching this one and then the MetaMask will offer you to add the network. And here uh, we can see the 0.01 ETH that we requested from the faucet. Here I'm gonna send one ETH from my girly testnet to Pegasus. Light link, and we can view transaction on Girly. So yeah, after it arrives on Light link, you can just bridge it back, and we're gonna be done. Apart from providing the feedback, in order to provide the feedback, uh, we need to fill this form. So what's in this form? Uh, rate your experience. Then, if you encountered any issues, you can write those below, attach some screenshots, then how easy it was to use, whether or not you use this in both directions, then you put your wallet, then some optional fields, and last one says, please supply your Ethereum mainnet wallet address for recognition in any future incentivized participation programs. Maybe the same one is provided earlier in this form, so again, be sure to drop your main wallet here. So that's going to be it for this video. Again, sadly, there are no other activities or socials that we can follow. Hopefully soon they will add at least the Discord, maybe Zilli. If you found video helpful, please drop a like and consider subscribing. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.